Hello and welcome to this unusual vlog about high-functioning depression, sickness, the German health system, and other lovely rants. <laughs> <coughs> wow. All right, so it all started once upon a time a month ago. <laughs> In Johar time, that's like four months. I always struggle to convert, you know. It's like somewhere between two and four times. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, about a month ago, I got corona. I think it was about a month ago. Not sure. At the time of recording, it was a very strange process because um, I was at a few different events where it makes sense that I may have got it, but I felt great for the few days afterwards. Then I had like this strange fever that stayed for two or three days, which people tell me is quite typical of Corona. But then it went away and I felt entirely healthy again for one or two days. And then I got sick again and it started testing, testing positive. Until then I had tested negative. So it's like, what the hell was this fever? And what what's with the delay? Uh, it's just such a strange virus. Mm. Similarly strange was um, how long it took um, between testing negative again and actually feeling feeling really good which was three to four days um and then is the mystery of whether i actually got healed from that and caught a cold or this is still part of covid it's like being in an m night Shyamalan movie it's like which is the plot turn plot twist turn <laughs> am i still like <laughs> is this a sickness within a sickness is this inception so it feels very different it's just a lot of coughing and a lot of gross stuff. Um, no longer fever, no longer headaches, still a lot of tiredness, but I can smell. I don't have heart racing anymore. So I would say it's, this is an independent sickness that I got and have kept for insanely long now because COVID weakened my immune system. But I'm not sure. I'm going to the doctor later, so I guess I'll... <coughs> let you know uh, in the description which comes much later than when I film the video mm. all right um, yeah so essentially I've been sick for a month which is literally unprecedented in my adult life I, the, on, the only thing I can remember like this is being sick for ages as a child but as you know children perceive time differently and think that an 18 year old is ancient so I don't know how long those were. Um, but yeah, in my adult life, I, it's my typical sickness mm, amount <laughs> of words is getting sick every one to two years. And having the cold last somewhere between two and six days. Uh, because I do a lot for my immune system. You know, I'm supplementing like hell. I'm doing the Wim Hof method. I'm doing cold exposure, lots of exercise. I eat amazingly when I can. So this makes no sense yeah of course i have been very stressed and i have uh let go of a lot of those a, a lot of those health um disciplines but still having a cold cough coughing this bad and all the symptoms being this bad for more than a week that's insane so it definitely has something to do with covid <laughs> anyway i'm suspecting that that has been the trigger that has now topped everything that was already going on in my life and put me into a state of what feels like depression. I'm very careful to use the word because I know it's it's a big thing. It's an, act, it's an actual diagnosis uh, with a lot of criteria that I'm probably not meeting right now. Um, but that's kind of what it feels like because I have very little energy. My appetite, appetite and sex drive has, have changed. Um, I've I'm a lot less interested in social interactions. I um, feel like I need a lot of time for myself. I'm either strangely emotional or not at all. Uh, you know, I've yeah, talked to people about it and um, it seems like it's something like that. Other things that can look very similar, of course, are burnout, um, trauma response. So I'm still trying to figure out what it is, but it's got me like this. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and if anything, I think I fit into the category of so-called high-functioning depression, technically speaking, called dysthymia. Um, 
but I haven't talked to any professionals yet, so I will also have to keep you posted on that. Um, uh, yeah. So it's, it's just made it really hard to keep going with everything because I'm tired, I'm not motivated. I kind of have like this this lens of negativity, which I hate. It's, it's not part of myself. Um, it feels like it's coming from my body or my subconscious and it's just there and it's really hard to deal with. But as I've said before, I do feel like I'm a particularly plastic person. God said, thank. That was German, sorry. I mean, thank goodness for my malleability. So I think I um, I will still be able to snap out of it. But I don't want to just kind of just get rid of it again because I'm afraid that that's what's causing it to come back cyclically. Cyclically. God, I'm forgetting English. Um, yeah, because every free, every few months for the past couple of years, I've had a literal two-day depression, which has been really strange. And I didn't know this from myself or from anyone. Well, I knew that I used to have like a, a very pronounced sine curve, as I like to call it. I had highs and I had lows, and I was used to dealing with those, but they were a little bit longer and a little bit more organic. And ever since shit started to go down in my life, like divorce and immigration and finances and just, you know, basically I've been experiencing a high level, like absolute uncertainty, you could say, and a very high level of stress in every single aspect of life. Uh, relationships, finance, <laughs> um, health, what else is there? Work, <laughs> um, self, <laughs> you name it. And I've been experiencing stress and 100% uncertainty in that field. So, of course, it's to be expected that something like this would happen. But what su surprised me was that this, this format, that it would just come back as a two-day thing that would go really deep and sometimes to a really dark place and then just kind of disappear on its own. And uh, to me, that suggests I might be suppressing stuff. Not sure. I think even though I do push myself to perform a lot on a, on a daily basis, I do also take time to reflect and, and feel whatever's there and talk about stuff. So, yeah, who knows? Definitely need to talk to someone. And this brings me to my Germany rant. Great country with a great healthcare infrastructure, lots of amazing doctors. We're all forced to pay insurance legally, which keeps it uh, normally at a sort of decent price and um, means that everyone has easy access at least to urgent or classical medical care. But psychotherapy, they've made such a mess of, which is a tragedy because, you know, you only need the doctor if you get sick or you have an accident or if you are chronically sick. <clears throat> Whereas therapy, in my opinion, is something that everyone needs, at least at some point in their life, if not constantly. Uh, and instead of making that happen, making that easier, governments and insurances and God knows who else have taken steps to reduce that. So there's always less therapists um, being able to get a license, being able to graduate because they make the studies even harder than they need to be. Um, and even less people being able to get into the degree because now you have to have the absolute best top-notch marks. Uh, otherwise, there is no waiting list anymore. They got rid of the waiting list. Uh, so you have to go abroad or go to a private uni. It's just like, what are you doing? We're in a mental health crisis. We just had a freaking pandemic and this isn't going anywhere. You know, humanity and technology and everything is developing in such a rate. Uh, this mental health is like the biggest thing right now and for the future. But yeah. So this means uh, it, it would probably be super hard for me to get a therapist in the first place. I might have to wait for ages and then it would be a random one uh, and a, at a specific place. Well, not entirely random, but I'll just call it that, which means I would have to go to my sessions there. But I'm super all over the place geographically, right? I have to work here and there. I might be have to, having to leave the country. So that's not a good idea. And in order to get it online, I have to pay for it, which means I would have to earn a lot more money. So, yeah. I'm stuck to using apps and coming to terms on my own and talking to great people in my life, which I'm all of which I'm very grateful for. But it's like, Germany, what are you doing? And I'm sure it's the same or worse in other countries. So this is just a really sad part of the world. Anyway, I don't know when this video is going to cut off, but <coughs> I think that's about it. Um, let me know how I could concretely 
uh, support you more with things like this. I can come up with a list of tips or maybe make a course or something like that. Just put it all in the comments.